What up, what up, what up? 420 Nug Grow Show, Sabuni here. Just throwing a little update, a little live update on my Canon Genetics Garden. Uh, as you can see on some of these plants, we're really starting to get the fade on. Uh, they're not as yellow as they look in this picture. They're not as yellow as they look in this picture, but they are starting to get their fade on, looking really nice. Uh, the reason they look so yellow is because of this LED right here, and I'm using glasses because of the purple Mars Hydro LEDs. This, this plant right here you're looking at is in week eight. It's gone through one week of flush, and it will be going through one more week of flush. Woo, get it there. There we go. Uh, give it one more week of flush. It is starting to get the fade on pretty nice. Uh, one more week will give it a great fade, great flush, clean meds, um, and we'll be ready to harvest hopefully by Sunday or Monday of this coming week, into this week. So, after this, let me see. Here. All right, after this week, we're gonna be able to harvest and I'll be able to show you guys that right now. The Funk OG from Canon Genetics right here. Bomb ass plant to grow, so easy. It's so, so, so easy to, to grow. Thank you very much, Sarah, I appreciate that. It's got my, massive colas on it. It was grown on Emerald Harvest, three-part nutrient line. Um, the only bad thing I can say about Emerald Harvest is that once you get into flower, you start to have some, uh, especially in DWC, which is how I grow, you start to have pH fluctuations. And in order to get rid of that pH fluctuations, you have to eliminate the organic stuff that you put into it. All right. Once you eliminate that organic stuff you put into it, or you put very, very little, like very, very little into it, your pH will stabilize. Very, very beautiful plant. Only topped it twice. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine about 10 colas off of this sucker all of them equally as impressive as this one right here look at that it's about a foot long cola right there and dense i mean i don't like to touch the buds and squeeze them too much not until i harvest but trust me they're dense they're falling over this right here was probably over here it's kind of falling over here this bud right here from the funko g right here is my phenol number one this one was standing up over here. It's leaning now over here. It's packed on some weight. This is my the Funko G number two from Canon Genetics. It's got slightly smaller buds on it. As you can see, the colas are not nearly as big, but the density on this bud is phenomenal. Like you, I cannot believe how dense this bud is too. Uh, the Funko G number one is dense, but I gotta say this got rocks. All right, I could probably drop this and it'd be like ting ting. That's how how dense that sucker is right there this one is barely starting to get the fade on here um it's not fading nearly as much as the rest of uh the other two here that are in flush mode but it's starting to get that fade now so this one will probably have to go a little bit longer than usual uh, back over here we have the gorilla warfare from canon genetics just a, this one is a phenomenal plant i cannot man focus I don't know if you guys can see it very, but it's frosty as shit, man. It's also got big, hard rock nugs on it. Big, danky, frosty ass shits on them. Look at this shit, man. This plant is phenomenal. I can't see the lights all in it. But look at that. Fucking awesome plant. It's starting to get the fade on really good, too. Uh, normally, when I grow in DWC, it takes about a two-week flush. Um to really get some good fade on it. Sometimes you don't even get that good of a fade on a two week flush, depending on how you uh, manage your nutrient regimen, if you're overfeeding or not, you know, how much nutrients are in there, how good of a flush you do. Um, but you definitely, definitely want to get a nice good flush so you get that clean meds when you go to actually smoke it or process it or whatever you want to do, make some concentrate, some live resin, squish some shit out. But you, also, you always want to make sure you get a good flush. Uh, the Gorilla Warfare in the back over there is being run on Elite Nutrients. I can't say enough about that, that nutrient line. It's very simple. Uh, five bottles um, as opposed to like Psycho Nutrients which has like 15 bottles you got to use. It's just way overkill. The five bottles from Elite works just fine. Uh, you do have to go out and buy a cow mag and a silica if you're going to add a silica. But you definitely have to go out and get a cow mag. Um, 
go out there and go check out Canon Genetics, www.canongenetics.com. Uh, check out all our available strains we got out there right now. We ship worldwide. So get out there, check them out, see what you got. The Guerrilla Warfare is not available yet, but this Funko G right here, this lovely lady, this is available. Um, go on the website, go check them out, go pick up your pack. Uh, and then right here in front, uh, all these plants back there are week eight. Right there, we're the second day into week eight. Uh, definitely gonna be harvesting those two in the back at the end of this week. This lovely lady right here, this stacker right here is my Legion OG, Canon Genetics, all right? This right here, foot and a half, I say foot and a half, not two feet. About a foot and a half right here, about 15, 16 inches right here. When all said and done, I'm gonna have a bud, about 15, 16 inches long. It's just gonna be one big cola. I mean, and you can see it right here. This, this branch right here is far more developed for some reason and it's farther away from the light but look at same thing from here all the way up stacking 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 not only the stack you can see the frost on this bitch already focus damn camera the frost on this one is phenomenal too this one is not yet available either on the website still in the testing phases i actually got four more over here that are in a different style of growing Let's go over here. I'm actually, this is my new, huge colas they are. They're gonna be huge. This is, I just started this run um, with this, this setup here, I mean, with this run, with the Legion OG. These are four more Legion OGs. Right now they look pretty shitty. Let me move the glasses. Right now they look pretty shitty right now because I started using rock wool. I'm not used to using rock wool. My first run using rock wool, so I'm having a little bit of issues, but I've kind of worked out some of that shit. Oh man, very bad connection, huh? If you guys get a bad connection, let me know and I'll move somewhere where I get bit really better connection. Kind of on the outside of my Wi-Fi area here. But I just started using these uh, Grodan cubes and this kind of floor flex setup, so I was getting used to it. I was running the, the water too long. I was running it 15 minutes during each cycle three times a day, so I was giving it too much damn I keep getting bad signal uh, I'm just giving it too much water at once so I went from 15 minutes to four minutes in each cycle and these plants are coming back phenomenal I got new root growth coming popping out the bottom of these I got all these tops on top were extremely yellow almost white they're coming back um, everything is looking much better here so I'm hoping within another week Maybe a week and a half, I'll have these plants recovered fully. Um, wishful thinking maybe, or just, you know, really wanting to get this done. But, um, hey, I grade, I don't even, I've never run autos before. Uh, so I'm not sure about how long they'll take. I'm pretty, pretty sure they run about similar to regular seeds. Uh, but, you know, probably a shorter veg time. I'm not sure, I've never ran them. But man, good luck, man. I would, I'm gonna be watching, bro. I wanna see how those run goes, man. I love DWC, it freaking rocks, man. It run, like, phenomenal growing. Once you get it down, you can get phenomenal growth. You get huge colas like you guys seen over here. And dude, it's just phenomenal. And then you kinda, can kinda finish a week or two before most strains for some reason. Right now, it probably should have gone, you know, nine to 10 weeks on some of these OGs in here, but they're already starting to finish up, getting cloudy, getting amber, about just where I like it. So I'm gonna have to uh, finish the flush on these and harvest them. Three and a half gallon buckets, not the five. I, and you know, I'm interested to see how that works because I've only run the five gallon buckets. Uh, and right now in flower, I'm running out of room because the roots are so massive. You know, I have no room in there for the water. So I'm using probably about uh, I use four gallons of water in this five gallon bucket, so I'm probably have like about two and three quarters gallons of water in there now because of the mass amount of roots that's in there. So I don't know how that's going to work. You might have to be adding water every day to that sucker, like gallons, because <laughs> that's that's not a lot of room. I'm not sure. I'm interested to see how that works. And you're gonna buy, Sarah. You're gonna grow you grow some mayhem bear. 
Oh, you're wanting to try growing mayhem bear. Oh man, it's a phenomenal plant, man. If you guys haven't seen it ran, you need to go check out Baby J from the Grow 420 Diaries. She's got some mayhem bear she's running. She's got some gorilla smash she's running. Um, go check them out, man. Go check out the whole team. Gunner 420, uh, uh, Scrog Me Farm. Uh, God dang it, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, Baby J from the Grow 420 Diaries. It's our alpha team. Go and even check out our beta team. We got Kind Buffalo, uh, 420 PGH, Cannabis Assassin, and um, the Dank Farmer. They all got some beans out there. They just sprouted some tester beans. So you guys need to go check them out so you guys can see a run from start to finish from those beta testers. See what you like. Yeah, I know. Hers is freaking phenomenal. Like, she's got some phenomenal buds. I mean, no joke. She, she knows how to grow homegirl does and she's like the first person i started watching she's the one that got me oh got a very bad connection now she's the one that got me into growing using uh dw or not dwc leds and shit so definitely go check her out she's freaking got some fire fire shit growing in there right now she's got her shit scrogged out looking phenomenal big things coming big things coming for canon genetics you also need to go follow us on instagram all of us on instagram all under our names Gunner, Gunner 420, um, Baby J, Girl 420 Diaries, all of us. I put everything in the in the description when I get done with this here. Uh, also, make sure to go check out our sponsor, uh, Method One PPS. Uh, I could not have colas or even plants and flowers this good without having a uh, extremely reliable IPM, an extremely effective IPM. So if you guys don't, or you guys have problems with mites, thrips. Uh, even PM you guys need to hit the link that will be in my description it's all in my description on all my videos the link use coupon code promo code at checkout uh, man I cannot think KG 420-10 I cannot think today holy cow KG 420-10 at the end of your uh, checkout to get 10% off your entire order if you guys don't have method one or never heard of it you guys need to get it you guys need to check it out so uh, I'm not sure if the Facebook is still running. Uh, I have to get with Gunner on that. We've been more focused on the website and our IG and YouTube's, um, getting our beta program running. Um, we got a clothing line getting ready to come out. Uh, we got some shirts available, I believe. I have to go look again. I'm not sure, so don't don't go running over there if you guys are looking for one. But we got things in the works that are coming out. You guys really need to stay stay tuned. So uh, no problem, sir. You guys, uh, you guys are why I'm here. I wouldn't be doing this if you guys weren't here watching me. So you guys, stay tuned. We got big things coming. Uh, stay tuned for this Legion OG. This bitch is a stacker, man. Look at this. All of them stacking like that. Look it. Look it. These OGs that Gunner comes up with are some stacking ass freaking plants. I mean, look at all of them stacking. Every single one of them stacking like crazy. No less than six, six to eight inch colas right there. I only use cow mag. Do you have any other suggestions? What, what kind of soil? What are you? Uh, let me see. Whoops. 206 grow. What are you growing in? Soil? If so, what kind of soil? I'm a DWC grower. If you're growing in soil, I suggest you go Fox Farm. I suggest you uh, hit up Baby J from the Grow 420 Diaries or Scrog McFarm or even uh, Gunner, Gunner 420. They are the soil growers. I haven't grown in soil in probably about six years. And when I did, it was outside. Um, and I used a lot of organics. I used a lot of uh, guanos bat seabird fish emulsion um rock uh fuck what the hell is it called um azomite rock dust and uh worm casting just a lot of that kind of shit um seashells like all kinds of shit man like all the good shit and i like, put on hay and shit but if you want to know like a good regiment for growing in soil or how to do it I would actually get a hold of, like I said, Baby J from the Grow 420 Diaries or even Gunner 420. They're more educated on growing soils indoors in pots, and I would have to defer to them. So hit them up. 
uh, and hit them up and ask them. Right now, I would suggest using Elite. It's a little pricey, but my God, it is the shit. Especially in DWC, I have virtually little to no pH. Once I, I mix my nutrients and I'll pH it. When I mix my nutrients, it's usually around where I need, so I don't need to pH a lot. And then the next day, the pH will kind of rise a bit and then I'll pH it again. And um, the rest of the week, man, I don't even have to worry about it because it doesn't even fluctuate. It doesn't move. So I just keep just adding RO water to it and topping it off throughout the week and the pH does not move. So, I mean, this is the most simplest, most simplest nutrient line that is the most effective that I've ever used. Like, so if you're gonna use any nutrients, I was just getting a top quality one, little pH. Um, and I use half amount of the nutrients than I do, let's say for uh, instance, Emerald Harvest. We'll say like for their, um, for their, uh, what is emerald or honeycomb, for like their, their sugars or honeycomb. Um, compared to Elise Resin D, the honeycomb I'm using like 22 to 24 milliliters per four, four gallons. With Elite, I'm using like eight or nine milliliters. So you use far less, less than half the amount of nutrients. Let's see. I had to put seashell dust and sand on my ladies due to gnats. This is my first grow, space candy and night nurse. Um, you got to be careful with the sand. Uh, if you put too much, you can suffocate them. Uh, I've never heard the seashell dust before for gnats. But what I have found very effective for gnats is something called natural. It's G-N-A-T-R-O-L. It comes in a powder form. And you use about a teaspoon to two teaspoons for severe infestation. You mix it into your water. And when you mix it into your water, you run it through your plants. And what that does is it kills the larva and then the eggs inside your soil so no new gnats will sprout. Um, the sand, what it does is it, it's supposed to suppress the gnats from coming out of the soil and from the gnats laying eggs in the soil. But if you use too thin of a layer, it's not gonna work. But if you use too thick of a layer, you can have some adverse effects that you don't want. So you're gonna wanna be careful with that. I would go pick up some natural. I picked some up last year and I still have it because I get gnats in my DWC every now and then. So I have to use it. And I'll just run it through there for two weeks and I won't even leave it in my res. I'll just run it through it and um, then I'll empty it out and then I'll do it in another week and in two to three weeks tops, all my gnats are gone. I have no gnat issues. That natural stuff works great for DWC and for soil. But in DWC, you wanna make sure you just run it through your median like right here, you just wanna make sure you run it through this median right here, cause that's where all the gnats will be, is up in there. And you wanna kill that larva. 206 grow. All right, I appreciate it, and that is good to know. And, hold on. That is good to know. And uh, one more question. I have HPS light, it gets way too hot. Would you recommend the Mars Hydro LED? Actually, you know what? I do not recommend the Mars Hydro LED. Um, on mine, I've had mine for about less than a year, or actually a little over a year now, like two or three months over a year. And, um, damn, connection is going bad. Oh, two or three months over a year, and I have several, several burnt diodes. So, and it's very hard to get them to send your replacement. If not, you have to send the light in, and it's very, very expensive. Damn, I'm having a fucking bad connection. Sorry, guys. It's very, very expensive. And they're just really, really hard to work with. Their, their customer service sucks. I always suggest getting a better light. It's gonna be more expensive if you're gonna go LED, but they're, I, I actually think the Vipar Spectra is gonna be better than the Mars Hydro, to be honest. Uh, or the Viper Spectra, or Vi I think it's Vipar, isn't it? Is way better. Um, so I would probably stick with that over the Mars Hydro. If not, even go with some cobs. Cobs are more efficient, um, better lighting, you get better yields. So, but that's pretty much it, guys. I got to jump off. I got some stuff to do. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and definitely go check out uh, Canon Genetics, www.canongenetics.com. And um, check out the available strains. 420 Nug Grow Show. Peace.